and Desvedo will explore a highly effective scalping trading strategy using three free powerful indicators. So let's dive in. First, search for high and low optimized trend tracker indicator and add it to your chart. This indicator is crucial for our strategy. To optimize the HLOTT indicator, adjust the settings as follows. First, in the Inputs tab, set the OTT period to 28. An OTT optimization to 1.6. Then set the highest and lowest length to 21. And ensure the highlighter is turned on and set the moving average type to VAR. Then in the style section, disable the bar color option. The HLOTT indicator acts like dynamic support and resistance levels that price may react to. The key feature is its ability to identify ranging markets, which is essential for traders. When the price moves within the indicator bands, it signals a range-bound market, and it's best to avoid trading in these conditions. Next, add the Parabolic SAR Marcy and Adaptive MACD indicator to your chart by searching for it on the TradingView platform. To optimize this indicator, adjust the settings as follows. In the Inputs tab, set the fast RSI period to 45. The fast Marcia speed to 1.2 and the show RSI period to 90 and the slow Marcia speed to 1. Then ensure the signal MA type is set to EMA and the signal period is 9. This indicator helps us detect false signals which is crucial for avoiding potential losses. Now add the exponential moving average indicator to your chart by searching for EMA and selecting it. Then adjust the EMA settings as follows. Set the length to 200 the offset to 45 and choose the RMA as the calculation method. The 200 period RMA helps identify the overall trend which is crucial for successful traders. It serves as a gauge for the long term market direction allowing us to determine the strength of the trend based on the price's position relative to RMA. To enter a long trade, the price must break upward through the top HLOTT band and close above it. The histogram on the parabolic SAR oscillator must be above the signal line. And for the third condition, the price must be above the 200 period RMA. So this candlestick where the price closes above the top HLOTT band is our signal for a long trade.
Therefore, enter the trade at the close of that candle using the lower HL OTT band as your stop loss level. When in winning trade, consider tracking partial profits at a 1 to 1 risk reward ratio and closing the remaining position at 1 to 2 risk reward ratio. And to enter a short trade, the price must break downwards through the bottom HLOTT band and close below it. And the S trigger on the parabolic SAR oscillator must be below the signal line. Therefore, the candlestick where the price closes below the lower HLOTT band is our signal for a short trade. So enter the trade at the close of that candle using the upper HLOTT band as your stop loss level. When in a winning trade, consider tracking partial profits at 1 to 1 risk reward ratio and closing the remaining position at 1 to 2 risk reward ratio. And stay tuned to our next video where we will show you how to turning losing trades into winning ones using a powerful trading strategy.